everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I want to show you how to do the Beehive box card. This is a fun little card. It's actually a bigger box card than what I normally do. When it's all finished, folded flat, it measures six by five and a half. So you'll want a six by six envelope to mail this in. But it's just a lot of fun. And it's got these cute little adorable bees. They are so fun. I've already put one of them together. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what comes with it and we'll build it together. So you have four bees. Like I said, I've already put one together. Um, is that right? One, two, three, yeah, four bees. Uh, three of them are the bees with the wings spread apart and then one of them um, is this little bee. I'll show it to you in more details where the wings are together. So we'll get to that one in just a second. And then you have your flowers, your base card, your back, two flaps for the sides. These are your embellishment panels. I just cut mine out of green, but you could do them out of some printed cardstock or anything, that, whatever you want. You have a layered beehive and then another layered honeycomb that goes on the back of your card. And this piece that kind of looks like a tag is actually the back of the card. So let's go ahead and start by layering everything. I'm going to start with my first insert piece and it says number one right here. So I'm just gonna push all of these out of the way a little bit. And it is the bee with the two wings. And so to assemble this bee, I cut my wings out of vellum, but you could use white or a light gray, even a light blue, whatever you have on hand that you wanna use. These are vellum. So the first thing you're gonna do is the piece with just one wing. We're going to add our yellow body. I'm just using a little bit of glue and match it up there. And if you are using the vellum, it's a lot lighter material. So be careful that when you're um, pressing it that you don't tear those wings. And then we're gonna take this bee body and it's the one that has the two antennas kind of pointing up towards the top and glue it right to the yellow and you'll notice I didn't put a whole lot of glue on the head because there's nothing behind the head so I mostly put it on the tail and then we're going to take this second wing and put just a dot of glue on the bottom and it goes on the top of that bee so that it's kind of overlapping the bottom bumble or the bottom wing. So just like that. That is your, I call it a sideways bee. It's not really, it's just, it's got the two wings at the top. And then that one goes right here on piece number one or insert number one. I'm just gonna glue it down and it should all match up. And if there's a little tiny bit of red poking through, that is perfectly okay. In fact, I did that so that it kind of gives it a little bit of separation between the three layers. Okay, so there is our first insert piece. Take our second insert piece, and it is the same, except that we have a flower and we have the flat bee, or the bee with the wings spread out. So I'm going to take my little flower. I got a piece of paper right there and add some glue to it and glue it on there and then take the center of my flower and glue it on and you could do these flowers in any color. I kind of did them white to look like daisies but you could do them in any color that you have on hand. Okay, the bee goes together the same way. I have my little vellum piece. I'm gonna glue my yellow body to that vellum piece. And then I'm going to glue my bee to the yellow piece. And once that's done, oh, these bees are so cute. I'm going to just glue it to our insert number two. Okay. 
Then we have number three. And number three just has the two flowers. It has a large flower and a small flower. And it doesn't really matter which one you glue on first. I'm going to go ahead and do the smaller one. My glue is either running out or getting dry. And the flower center. A larger flower. And you don't even have to do your flowers all the same colors. You could do like yellow and white and pink or just make it a whole garden. It would be so pretty. Yellow or my center flower. Okay, so that is the insert. Now we're going to go ahead and build this last bee. He's going to go on the front of the card. the bee again. Oops, I did that and I pulled it off. Well, there we go. This is just such a fun little card. Perfect for spring or fall. Either one. Depends on what color you make your flowers. Maybe what season you want it for. You could even do it for Valentine's with a bee mine. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, so there's our bee for the front, and then we also have a bee for the back of the card. We have three more flowers, two of the medium ones and one small one. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble those. And I always cut out an extra dot or two because I always, always end up losing them. They end up on the floor or... So we only need one of those. Yeah, when I cut out stuff like this, I always do a extra little pieces. Okay, so one of those is going to go on the front, and then two of them are going to go on the back. Then we need to assemble our beehive. So we just have the yellow piece, and then we have the black piece that goes over the top of it. I'm just going to put some glue randomly on those edges. If you get it really good on the top and in the doorway, the rest of those don't have to be perfect. And if you had a Xyron sticker maker, this would make quick work of these little pieces. And then we have the two edge pieces, or the two flat pieces, and they are cut out of the yellow with the honeycomb pattern on top. And then last but not least is the actual honeycomb that goes on the back of the card. Or the back piece of the card. And this is perfectly symmetrical, so it shouldn't matter which way you line it up. It should just line up right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and assemble the card. So I want to take my box base and I'm going to fold the vertical score lines down towards the desk to give it that box shape. And then the flaps I'm going to fold up towards me. While it's still flat I want to go ahead and glue on my um, decorative panels. Okay, and I'm just going to do tape with these to make them really quick, but you'll want to make sure that they're um, fold, or glued down really well, because when you start folding this card back and forth, you don't want those to pop, pop off. But the tape runner 
for the video is going to work fine. And you're just going to put them between the score lines and between the top and the bottom so that there's some shadow of the box showing. And again, this would be really fun cut out of some printed paper to match your flowers and whatever. All right, so whoops, that wasn't very straight. Okay, then we're gonna flip it over and I'm going to put these tabs right here on the back side of that box card. And again, you'll want those down really well. Um, you can use glue or tape, but you want them to be down really well because they're going to get moved a lot as you open and close your card. I just love bees, bumblebees, and I think they're so pretty. I've done a quilt with them. I'm working on a table runner right now. I have a whole bunch of bee files in my store. So if you love bees like I do, go ahead and check them out. Okay, and then we want to take our back piece and we're going to add our honeycomb to it. Now the fun begins and we're going to just start layer, layer, layering and building up our box card. So I'm going to flip my box card over so that it's face down on the table. And I want to find my first insert piece. And I'm going to bend those tabs up towards me. I'm going to flip it over and put tape or glue on those tabs. And I made these tabs really extra big. They're a lot bigger than the ones I normally did, but that's because there's a lot of them in there and this box is kind of wide, and so we needed the bigger flaps. We're gonna take the edge, the left edge of this first flap, and I'm gonna line it up right against this fold line on the right-hand side. So I don't want it on the fold line, but I want it right next to it. And you want it underneath this flap. So if you can fold that down, that might even help. Okay, we're going to bend it over. And then we're going to fold this right over the top of it. I'll fold it a couple times to make sure it folds flat. Okay, there is your first little piece with your little bee. Let's try the second one going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring those flaps up towards us. Fold it over and put tape on the back of those. Okay. Now we're going to fold this box flat and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this edge and I want to make sure that it's just right behind that, that first insert piece. Not right up against it, but just right behind with maybe a hair of the gap. Fold that over, stick it in there, and then fold that flat. Fold it this other direction, folds flat again. There is your second insert piece. Oops. And we're gonna do it one more time with that third one. I'm going to bring it over, fold my flaps up towards me, flip them over and put tape on those back pieces. And you want to make sure you get tape on the whole thing. Don't just do one little run because you really want it to stick good. Remember, that's why we made the bigger flaps. Turn it towards you, put this edge, this left edge, right behind that first or that second insert, excuse me. Fold it flat, kind of tuck it in there. Make sure that it's lined up there on the top, right behind that second one. Fold it flat. Fold it flat again. And there is your box so far with your three insert pieces. And you can see that it's, it's a lot wider than most of the box cards that I do. Okay, then we're going to take our 
um, back piece, and you can do it one of two ways. You can either glue it to the tabs, which is what I'm going to do on this one, or you can glue the tabs around it this way. If you do that, I would suggest you cut out a second back piece to cover that up. Um, it's not included in the file, but you can very easily do it. But since I haven't cut it out, I'm just going to fold this flat. I'm going to put tape on both of those tabs. And then I'm going to take this back piece, and you want to make sure that your um, honeycomb is facing towards the box, not towards the back. And just line that up. And then line it up there again. Okay. And there is the box card. So now we get, we get to finish it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beehive and I'm going to put it to the front of my card. And this should not surprise you if you watch my videos. I'm going to actually do it with some foam tape. I'm going to cut some bigger pieces to hold that on there really good. I love foam tape, and if I haven't said anything for a while, actually I need to pull that piece down a little bit, I just get the, these rolls off of Amazon, and they last me for quite a while. Okay, you don't want to put it up on the very top because your beehive is actually going to hang off the top a little bit, and just line it up there, press it. Okay, now I want to add my bee, and one of my flowers. So I'm going to add my flower first. Put it there at the top. And I do think I'll add that bee with a little bit more foam. But you could glue it on there. It would be fine. Just glue it on there. And let's see. Let's have him flying up. Okay. And then for the back, we have our two, two more flowers and one more bee. And you can just decorate that back however you want. Or you could even put your second bee down here if you wanted to, up there. You could even glue it, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and put it on that first, or on that back piece. So I'm going to start with my bigger flower. I'm going to glue it to that back, take my small flower, and glue it, and then my B. You could do this with foam if you wanted to as well. Um, there's plenty of room when it folds to do it, so you could do that. I'm just going to glue him on there and kind of put him right there at the top. Remember that if you do have things hanging off the top here, it's going to increase the height of your card. And so without the B, this is a five and a half inch tall. When I add the B and the wing, it makes it maybe not quite six inches, but it's six inches across, so it'll fit in a six to six and a half square envelope. And there is your beehive box card. This is such a fun little card. So fun to make, so fun to give, and so fun to receive. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit subscribe down below and have a great day.